Hi, internet viewers. It's Frank Rauscher again. Here we go. Uh, on the last go around, we shaped the rump pretty good and the tail feathers. We got the body all shaped in around here. We got the rump coming around and we got that pretty much finalized where it rolls around and everything else. So we're in good shape now. What we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to burn areas and we're also going to mark uh this is like uh we have smaller feathers in in this grouping right here and i'm going to mark that out too so i'm going to bring the camera down so you can see exactly what i'm doing and then we'll go in and start burning and i'll give you, give you techniques i'll do one side you can do the other okay it's the same thing so uh bear with me and i will move the camera down and I'll show you exactly how we do it. Okay, we're back again. Hope we're right in on target here so you can see what's going on. Um, going to mark out this area right in here, uh, all the way down to what would be the line where the feather line is here, or the tail feather, and where the rump fades away here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these C's. And like I said, these aren't real, real big. And you can get an idea about the size that I'm doing. And then I'm gonna sort of stagger them a little bit and make some smaller, some bigger, just not too out of proportion, as you can see. And then I'm just going to mix them up size-wise. Make it look like it's going underneath the wing here. So when you come out of here, you can do like a half a feather. And then come around over here on this one. And this is what I just call C's. And uh, just... Filling in the areas. It takes a little practice. I'd be the first one to admit that. I remember when I first started doing this, I thought this was a mystery on how to do it. And then one day I got very relaxed and started just going at it without thinking. And if you noticed, I was a little larger, and as I came back, I got a little smaller in here, only to fit it in where I can get a feather in that looks like it's appropriate. That's what I'm doing. I don't uh, maintain that every one of them has to be the exact same size, but to fill in an area, we do it that way. And I'm going to finish over on this side. Now, the technique I'm going to use to burn this, because I don't want these feathers so prominent. And we do have a way of making these look very realistic, like we did on the head and then the wing coverts over here. I'm going to do the same technique. So the technique I did for the head, I'm going to do in here. And... And I'm also going to show you how I burn the wing feathers and the tail feathers, okay? So, on most of these larger feathers up top, like this one here, I'm putting a quill right down the center. Now, if you want to get real tricky, you could do like a double quill, but these are so small, I feel as though there's not that much to them so and then you may see one pop out on the fourth feather here you do have a quill on this one because it's a top feather you do have a quill here that you see and you have a quill here otherwise nope take it back there's a quill here here and here Okay, so 
they're the only quills, and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You got this one, this one, and I'm splitting the feather in half as best I can, okay? And I put these in, and this right here, you got this one, this one, and this one, okay? So... That's all the straight line work. We'll get the tail later on. Let's see how far I can get before I run out of time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start in on these center feathers here. I'm going to be doing the same technique as I did before. And say like this feather right here. Hope you can see this well. I'm going to use the leading edge of the mantle feather as my edge and I'm going to burn deep and lift. Oops, excuse me. Now I go to the center and then I fan out. And if you notice, I'm doing like a flickering. It does texture the rest of the feather if you do it right. But you don't want to drag the burn all the way down. You're really trying to indent on that leading edge, just like that, okay? And this gets marked, and if it gets real light and you don't have enough, then move it, your, your uh, pen faster, the texture the rest of the feather, in case you came up too fast and never captured everything there. So I'm gonna do this other one. So I take a stroke down, excuse me, the niche right in the eye, and I fan to the left, or my left I should say, and then I fan to the right, and I want to keep these close, and I'm going all the way around, like that, so all this area dark area gets depressed basically and it makes it looks like you lifted the feather now when i do the next one down it's piggybacking it's going to do the same thing it's actually relieving that line work in the front and it makes it look like you lifted that now with this tail sticking up it does get in the way, so you got to get a little tricky as far as burning goes, you know. You're going to have to get the point of your burner in there. And here's a nice big feather with the tail in the road, so I'm going to try to show you that one. Comes down. Hope you can see this. And it is texturing. even where you don't see a dark burn. I don't know if that's on the camera or not. And, and the key thing is, is to keep your line work close so that you get that whole area depressed. And I missed a little corner right over here, which I'll go back and hit. So you're gonna do that all the way down. I'll do one more for you, and then And you're going to have to position your pen and the way you hold the bird and everything else to burn it because that tail at times wants to be in the way. With other birds, you don't have that problem. You don't have the tail sticking up in the... Uh, so, and if I miss the spot, I just go back over it. That's all. As long as you're going in the dire right direction. Now, that gets done for this whole area in here, okay? Now, on the quills, I'm going to come in. I'm going to burn one side here. You're going to do this exactly the same way on the other side. I burn the quill in, and I'll catch that little one there. We have a quill for this feather. We have a quill for this feather. And then you have a quill here. Whoop. Not that way. That way. That way. 
happen that way. Okay. Oop, and one more right there. Now, here's the way I burn. Instead of starting from what would be like the top of the feather and burn down, I burn from the inside, or I should say the outside in. So I reverse this and I burn. These are on a 45 degree to the quill, these, uh, what's the name, uh, burn lines. So I'm going to come in here and because the feather is raised, you will be depressing that that lift that we created when we undercut. But the burn will soften that. So you do the one side on a 45 degree angle. You come in. I hope this is in your line of view here. I may not walking somewhere else. So I'm, I'm knocking down that leading edge and it softens it okay so here's the next feather down i'm coming in on a 45 but i'm feeling that lift that we got when we raised the feathers up and i'm sort of pressing that down in a sense and making it look softer by doing it this way and then i burn this way and what it does it knocks down that edge and it gives you a softer look okay but it gives you a real nice look some people can burn this way too you can but i just feel as though this does a nicer job it softens that feather and gives you a more realistic look but Hey, teach his own. Sometimes you don't care about exactly how it comes out. So you, you could go the opposite way. And sometimes because of the difficulty of burning, it's maybe advantageous to go from the inside out. I just find that this does a nicer job for me okay so uh i it's just a technique that i've worked up over the years and found that this works out fine now when you get into the smaller feathers you're you're, you're gonna have to use the tip more than anything else and you're still knocking down those leading edges that we lift it and it softens it. So, um, coming in here, like so. And there's four feathers done now. I'll do some of these over here again. This does show a quill. The others don't because they're, it's like an illusion of uh, the quill is under the feather that's laying on top. And that's what we're trying to allude to here. So, on these, they're going to be like a half a feather. Whatever you're doing here, you're doing in the same style. So that 45 degree angle, you're coming in here. And around. Coming down to here. Hope you could see this well. I'll do some more. And you try to keep your burn lines together. If you skip one, go back, rake it through again. And this takes a little bit of practice. I make it look simple, but you need to practice a little bit. And if you have some scrap wood, I always recommend getting a piece 
and trying it on there. And remember, if it doesn't turn out right, you could always sand it out and start over again, okay? So don't feel as if you didn't get it right. You can, you still have material there that you can play with that'll still let you work with it and fix the problem. Now on this, this grouping down here, let me just, I'm gonna highlight that quill a little bit more. I'm gonna come in here. Because they're so small, my burn looks darker all the way through because by the time I get done stroking it, I'm through the, I'm, I'm making it all look dark or pretty close to it. Especially on these, they're so little and I'm really lifting my pen a little higher so that I'm just burning the feather that I'm working on, not the one above. I'm trying to keep it in control. And you need to just work with the burning point. Now I'm gonna come over here, get a 45 degree angle on these guys here, and I'm gonna do it for this one while I'm in this direction. And I come down here and we're 45 and from the outside in. Right on the edge. Like I said, keep your, your markings pretty close. Okay, and if you missed one, just go back in and hit it again. Okay. Now I'm going to do a little bit more up here. All of these don't have quills, and we had a 45-degree angle, so I'm going to do a 45 to the feather edge and maintain that right on around. And I'm coming up here. Now I'm going to do this one. Hope you could see this well. And every once in a while, I don't get that real close. So I just come back and try to take a stab where I left the white rather than the burn. So that, that gets it. And everything's a 45 degree angle down. Okay. And this is the technique that I like to do. Now, there are other ways of doing this, but this is my method, okay? And I'm not the end all. If there's somebody else you know, that's teaching, learn his way too. See which one is suitable for you. And he may be more clever in coming up with a different way of doing it. So be open to anything that may be different. I'm just exposing you to how I handle it. Now I'm gonna do these feathers down here. So let me just end that quill up here. Now I'm going to do a 45 same way on these guys. And again, I'm, I'm trying to feel that lip so that it's raised this feather. And I'm just trying to, when I'm burning that one side, I'm trying to knock it down. On this side, it's doing the same thing, but there's nothing on this side. And I'm going to do this one here to 45 into the quill. Okay, and 45 into the quill here. And 
it's just, I find burnings relaxing, but I hope that works out for you. Now, all the rest of these are going to be like this last one we did, 45 and to the outside edge there. Always. And just, and as you come down, I'm using the point of my burn burning pen rather than trying to flatten it because they're so in tight here that I don't want to keep raking right through one on top into the other. There's that. Then we do this one. As long as you're staying on a 45 degree angle and keeping that in mind when you're doing this. And like I said, I don't get every stroke where I want it, so I just go back and rake through it. And we're having a cool day in my area here. I don't know if you hear my furnace went on. And sometimes, uh, depending on the unit, type of unit you have, when the furnace goes on, it could make a draw of power. Not that I don't have enough power now. It, and sometimes you get a lighter burn rather than a darker burn. It's funny how it goes sometimes. Same, same way with air conditioning. So, and uh, you'll notice that sometimes. Not all units do that. And I would say, most of the time, I don't have that effect here, but I uh, just wanted to alert you to that, that sometimes uh, your burning pen doesn't seem to be as hot as it was. And then every once in a while, you're going to have to clean your tip. Most of these that I get from uh, the manufacturer, he... He does, has pretty good metals in his pen that you don't get the carbon build up as fast. And some really collect on there. And the carbon, once it gets onto your tip, will uh, give you a lighter burn or not burn as hot because the carbon insulates the tip and the heat doesn't transfer as well. So there's the feather burn completely on one side for the wing. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're also going to do all of these. Now, for the tail, I'm going to ask you to do this. This is a long quill. So what I'm going to do, let me, let me get this so you can see it. I'm going to put this down. You could do what we call a double quill. You can have two lines, one separated from the other, and then join up about three quarters of the way down. So I'm going to try that on this one. This is very small, but I usually like to do it on bigger birds. So I'm going to lay this here. Track this down and bring it right to the center. Then I'm going to stagger this one ever so slightly. Come on down and then join up. Okay? And you get a double quill effect. Now, on the rest of them, the quills you're just going to see maybe a little bit. Just on the top two or three right there. The rest are under each other. Now, because I'm not as concerned with the feathering on this, and it's more difficult to come in this way, I'm going to have you burn from the inside out on the tail. Okay? So here we go. Exactly what I told you not to do over here, or at least what I didn't do over there. 
you're going to be burning from the inside out. And I'm only doing this for convenience sake. So I'm doing this on a 45 degree angle. Hope I'm in the camera range here so you can see all this. And I'm burning this all the way down to the feathers below. I'm coming all the way up. Now, for some of you, you may want to get a block of wood and rest this on that because we're bouncing around here sometimes. The steadier, the more steady you are, the easier it is for you to burn. But I'm, I'm trying to hold this to the camera so you can see it. But, and I'm sort of steady. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be real steady. Uh, but um, I have that ability. So that's half the feather right there. So I'm going to come to the other side. And I'm going to do a 45 up to the quill. I don't want to go into the quill. Close this well, you never want to. And if you have a double quill, you're trying to recess exactly that. The area where the double quill is, you're trying to have it raised slightly. And this I'm going to come out here. And the other thing, too, by having it on a block of wood where you're resting. And what I mean by that is, I'm gonna get a block of wood here. You have something like this where you could rest it on and then do it. Yeah, like I almost <laughs> burned my finger. See, some people like to work that way. Now, when you're doing the rest, I'm going to do it this way right now, but it, it's, it's handy if you're not too steady. A piece of wood bigger than that, a block, a real block that you could rest on and be comfortable with. So you, you can come in. Hope this is on the camera. Area. Because I tend to drift sometime, and I apologize for that. Uh, we're trying to show you how to, and by me going off camera, when I'm doing detail work, you lose the effect, and I'm trying to teach you that, so bear with me. Now, we have a quill, which is ever so slight up here. I'm going to burn just a little bit of this. Now here's where I need to be steady. And this is really in tight here. So I'm just gonna hit a couple strokes right in there. So, so I'm gonna do all of this on a 45 degree angle down. Then I'm gonna do all of this side. And I'll, I'll do a little bit on a 45 degree angle this way. Um, and you try to, to be as consistent as you can. And, you know, after a while, you, you'll get a feel for it. That you're burning and pressing at the same uh, degree of pressure. And always keep your finger out of the way. Not like I just did a minute ago where... I was trying to burn my finger. There. So, you're doing all of these down this way and all of these down on this way. And then you're finishing this up and then you're doing that. <laughs> so, uh, if you could get this much done 
uh, that'd be great. And <coughs> if you ever need any advice or if you need the blank, the kits, uh, or on any bird, I have a catalog with a variety of birds and stuff like that. And uh, we can always accommodate you for that. The wren, the house wren I'm doing, right, or the Carolina wren, I should say, is what we're doing now. And uh, the, the pens I use, uh, they're Optima pens. If you're interested in those, I have them in my catalog. I also have the units. I have the bits and I have the blanks. I have the patterns. If you just need a feet or the eyes, contact me and I will try to help you out where I can. And uh, uh, if you have any problems, please contact me through my uh, comments section in the video, or you can uh, get in touch with me through my email address and I will uh, get in touch with you and see if we can iron things out. So I hope you got something out of this as well. Uh, this will be a real neat bird when we get done. And just burning it, it it's kind of neat when you get done too. So uh, I hope you got something out of it again. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that too. And uh, we'll see you on the next video and we'll march on. We're getting closer and closer. Uh, we'll be pretty soon doing, uh, well, we still got the breast to do. And then I'll show you how to do that too. Okay. So see you on the next video.